Hello caterpillars and butterflies, we're going to talk about next week's home learning. So our book of the week is going to be Sue Potato. We're going to start talking about um, vegetables in our topic and we're going to continue talking about the weather as well. So first, in our um, PSED and our communication this week, we're going to start learning about the body. Um, so we're going to sing head, shoulders, knees and toes. Uh, and get them to point to different parts of the body as they sing and we can also change some of the words of the song so they can have elbows instead of their nose um, things like that um, and we can talk about what happens to our body when we exercise so we get warmer, we breathe faster, our hearts beat faster as well um, and then we're going to play a body parts listening game. So it's a bit like musical statues. So you play some music. When you stop it, um, you give your child an uh, action to do. So hands on their shoulders or fingers on knees, uh, hands on top of the head, stuff like that. And they've got to um, do that action. So we're doing a bit of listening. So they've got to listen for when the music stops. They've got to listen to the action they've got to do. They've got to show their understanding by performing that action and then you can get them to develop their speaking skills by getting them to tell you what action they've carried out. So it'd be something like that, I put my hands on my shoulders. And then expressive arts and design, so we're going to do a super potato activity. So you can make your own version, you could use a real potato, paint it, stick collage bits on, paper, material... Um, to make a soup potato or you could use a Mr. Potato Head toy if you have one to make your own soup potato so there's just some pictures of some examples here that you could use and then our other um, expressive arts and understand the world to uh, part is uh, we're going to learn some rain theme songs so we've been looking at the weather so we've got some rain songs like I Hear Thunder, Rain Rain Go Away you might know some other ones I think there's a Wellington song out there somewhere but I couldn't find it um, so yeah just learn those songs and you could even video your child performing that song and um, put it on tapestry for us to see and then our physical education and fine motor activity this week um, we want them to make up their own rain dance so we are going to get them to watch the clip from Singing in the Rain um, and they can watch that see what um, the dance thing that does and then see if they could make up their own rain dance they could even make it up to one of those rain songs that they've learnt and then our super potato activity is going to be using scissor skills again a really important skill uh, to cut out the faces and make their own super potato uh, super potato superhero um, you could even cut these pictures out and put them on your potato for the other activity. Um, and then maths, uh, this is a nice maths activity this week. So we're going to use the rain and it's going to be an opportunity for the children to use lots of maths words. So on a rainy, rainy day, if we get one, um, you can take your child outside, catch some raindrops on a piece of paper. If it doesn't rain, you can always sprinkle some using your fingertips um, you could even colour the water to make it easier to see on plain white paper. Um, and then you get your child to draw around the raindrops they've caught. So there's a little bit of fine motor there as well. Um, so they can count them, uh, they can talk about the shapes they've made, they can talk about the size of the raindrops and compare them. So they're using size language, they're using shape language, they're using counting language. So they can say, I've got more small ones and only a few big ones, stuff like that. <coughs> and literacy, um, one thing we do a lot of in nursery is share books. So it's really important sharing books because children develop an interest in reading um, and it can become a nice habit to have. So we want them to choose a book. It can be any book. It can be Super Potato. Um, you can pause it at a certain section so they can look at the pictures, see what's going on, talk about what they can see. Um, they might even look at some of the, the words and see if they can spot any letters that they're familiar with. It could be letters that they know from their name, um, stuff like that. So it's really just starting to pay attention to what they can see in a book. 
and then we are going to do some body percussion for phonics this week. So we're going to explore the different sounds that our bodies can make. So clapping our hands, stamping feet, clicking our fingers, clicking our tongue, all sorts of things like that. So it's just a bit of an exploration of sound. And then last week we did some spring words. So we were doing a... Um, finding um, objects so we can learn the spring words. This week with the spring words we are going to do some tracing so it's a bit more of that fine motor practice and pencil control and it's also a good opportunity for children to become a bit more familiar with letter formations, what letters look like so they can trace over them so just going over the grey letters if they want as well and if they're confident enough you could give them extra paper and they could copy the words so it's just lots of different ways for them to practice writing and then on Thursday we've got World Book Day so you could even dress up as your favourite book character you might even want to dress up as Super Tato um, we'd love to see any pictures you take of your children so don't forget you can post them on Tapestry so remember if you've got any questions contact us on the nursery um, email um, or on Tapestry and we will check we check that every day so we can get in touch with you quite quickly have a good week bye